See ClydesdaleClassicCars.co.uk Keeping classics alive. Live across Glasgow and the West, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation Radio. Call Scotty now on 0141 811 0475. Don't forget the house rules. No offensive language or you'll get a lifetime ban. Ho ho and me hearties, a very good evening to you all Sunday night. Nothing gets past Scotty McClure, you know. And uh, we have lots and lots to talk about tonight. Now, you know how busy the phones get, so never, ever, ever give up trying to get through. I'll give you the telephone number in a minute. Um, but I want you to get in there first, so keep ringing and ringing and ringing. And redialing and redialing and redialing. Fantastic. Listen to the moose loose about the hoose. <laughs> There's more than a moose loose about this hoose, as you very well know. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, live with you on Nation Radio. That's the big station serving the nation, the one everyone is talking about, the one everyone is listening to persuade every single person you know to make the switch to Nation Radio because it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week live and local for Glasgow and West Central Scotland a huge huge area and people tell me they can hear it down in uh, the borders they can hear it um, up in the central belt wonderful stuff right away over in the hill foots and all that sort of thing we love it anyway to your telephones we're already stowed out the door and stab it through so I'm dashing off but it's 0141 811 0475 Scotty McClue's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you, Dinky Doo. Off to the telephones. Jean. Hello, <laughs> Hello, Hi, darling, how are you? <laughs> you got through well tonight, my love. Oh, my Woo! Yeah, love. Your phone just about to turn to ten. And then it was That's great. Ten to ten again. Five to ten. Ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my darling, how are you? Are you? Just for you. Are you? Yes, yes, I'm absolutely stunning. I was just saying to the wizard of the big switchboard, if I was chocolate, I'd eat myself. Oh, did you too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if chocolate too much. Hi, hi. Hi, I'm Are you all right? Are you talking into your telephone? Scotty, I found Hamish. Hamish, good. No, I found Hamish. And I said, are you going to go on Scott in the night? He's like, I, I'll go and wipe my phone bulging. And I was like, hi, I'll get free calls for the landlord. <laughs> free calls, absolutely. He's lovely. Oh, we'll oh, look after him. It's fantastic. Oh, yes, he's wonderful. We'll keep it short. We'll keep it short. Diamond, hmm. a pure diamond. And then, how could David call me the baby? Oh, he's not buying that big new clothes. Ah, well, I think he is. I think he might be spending a lot of his money on that wee baby. You know what I mean? No, he's only the pre-man. Oh, thanks. Thanks for doing the advert. We'll send you the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful stuff. And listen, have you had a good week? Have you had a good week, Jean? I'm not well. I've been out the for a wee while. Right, well, you take care of yourself. No, you need to be well. We need to get you well. That's the thing. As long as you're all right. Now, listen, I'm going to have to dash because the phones are going bananas here, but we will catch up really soon. I love you, love you loads. Love you, darling. Take care of yourself and have a lovely week. That's our Jean. She's uh, had to dash off uh, because we are very, 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 very busy tonight. But keep your calls coming, folks. I want to get as many of you on tonight as possible. 01418110475. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, Hello? Colin. Uh, Colin. It's Colin. How are you, Colin? How the hell is that possible? Normally I get through to a switchboard, man. 
No, no, man, we get you sorted straight out there tonight. We're, the wizard's sorry flying. He's on a roll. It's the war horse. Sorry about my pal. I the war horse. I, I know your pal was shocking. No, curse or swear. Yeah. No to curse and to turn the radio down I'm and he was sorry. turning it up and swearing. No, he was No. He didn't touch nothing. He just swore and that was it. He just swore. Well, that's Terrible him anyway. Don't worry, war horse. Shocking no, language, but he's gone. I know. Right. Um, so he was just was maybe he had had he had a light refreshment. I don't know how many he had. <laughs> ah, I think um, he maybe had a refreshment in him. So how you been? All right. I've been absolutely fantabulous. Yes, well, and you. Well, the deal is this is what I was born in the last time. Right. What's going right, on here? Yes. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the time. Why you mm. cut to your Sunday, man? What's your They've cut to your Sunday problem? because they wanted the big bosses wanted to give uh, the young people back their club nights on a Friday and Saturday. Oh, come on, they've mm. done that. It's only two hours, not I mean. I know it's only a couple of hours out of your life, but there it goes. That's all we get, you know. <laughs> but we must be uh, thankful, yeah, thankful for small mercies. No, I only two hours, and I'm no one to banter on a lot. Um, I know what you mean, you weren't. there's hardly time to banter on, is there? <laughs> but I really, I really apologise for my friend. No, he listen, Colin... He can't hold his wish. He can't hold his wish, that's his problem. No. He, he was told not to say icky or okay. I say, see when I get through it, Scotty McClure, I say, he's yeah. a very important man. In my Absolutely. Life. No yeah, shouting yeah. and balling. I and do. I say, Nene, you're Nene, you're nonsense. <laughs> And as soon as I get through, he went and said the F word. I know, he, he, he was swearing, oh. yes, absolutely. Oh, and I, went, I, I went ballistic at him because it was on his phone number. I was like, that's you bad for life now. He was, wasn't he thinking? I know. Anyway, we're sorted, oh. so don't you worry. All is well. Um, can, uh, my wee ma passed away last week. Oh, no. You know? I'm very sorry to hear that. No, no, I'm just saying, oh, no. I thought you said, you know. No, no, I didn't know. No, I didn't know what I would have said right away. You know, I would have I would Nene, said I was very Nene sorry. Gilmore Malcolm. Well, oh, bless her. Yes, what age was she, Colin? 82. 82, yes. yes. That's a good innings. That's a good innings, work. yes. Good for her, yes. hard work. Um, and looking after you. Work. Mm -hmm. Well, now I've got to look after Father. You look after Father, but you'll do that as well because you're fine I know, people. No, it's been hard. Well, I don't want like to depress everybody. No, 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 we don't want like to depress everybody. People are all here for. But, uh, but we, we do I send you care. love. We do yes. send you love because it's a Whoa, tough time. Anna, where's she? Anna. Anna, yeah. Anna was on last week, Anna. so she'll be on. She's on last week. Yeah, she was on um, last week, so we'll get Anna on. Um, can I say another thing? My brother Go on. Man, am I allowed to do that? It's called uh, uh, 0141. All right. Very right, nice. Zero, right, 01 F, the spelling of 4. F O R. Right. Yes. One. They played at the. Um, Zero they one or four the, one. They played at the Callan Academy. Lovely. They're doing everywhere well now. Um, they're doing really well. We shall so, keep out an ear for that one. Well, that, that that's what they're called. O one four one. O one four one. I'm not bugging them or nothing. No, 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 I just a wee bit. Right, there's no problem with I, that. I, I promised them all the last time I would say... Just I give them a mention. A wee bit. Yeah. So, Good for I you. What about you? And all listen, I'm but absolutely I'm in the big... The, I'm not happy with the big bosses, tell them. The big bosses. The big bosses. The no, big bosses. I'm, so I'm, I'll have a lot with them. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you take care of yourself. <laughs> I'm going to do a runner well, and we will catch up soon, I'm Colin. I'm doing a runner. Hey, I'm doing a runner, lad. But I, no, no, strength to you. That's what I say. What a nice fella. So there you go. Last time he was on, his pal let him down. Big tile. Uh, 0141 811 You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Hamish. Big Hamish. Hamish, how are you getting on? I'm not too bad. I have Wee Jean on now. Wee Jean was on there. 
No, I realised it was on there and now. Aye, aye, she was just saying, she said she'd, she'd been in touch and, I you know. Touch. She comes up to the pub, we will not mention the pub, she's a no, wee not. there than me, you know. A wee, a refreshment, absolutely, yes, Irish, absolutely. Right. Right. <laughs> and she, she was saying. I was on your show, you know, I've heard it before, you know. Yes, absolutely, and she was saying uh, she was saying about the uh, the phone bill and stuff like that. I can understand where you're coming from because sometimes it's a bit of a weight on here. Yes, you know. I've been, I've been trying for the, the off night, you know. Absolutely, and it's lovely to hear from you. Yes, indeed. Have you got a rendition for us tonight, Hamish? A lot let of people have been asking. Yes, let, let us with a glance of mine praise the Lord for He is kind. For his mercies I ensure, ever faithful, ever sure. For his mercies I endure, ever faithful, ever sure. Is that the good? one? That's it, Scotty. Wonderful, Hamish. Good, right. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Hamish from Drum Chapel in Glasgow, on the booth with letters with a gladsome mind. Take it away, Hamish. Absolutely note perfect. Note perfect. Great. You've been working at that one, my boy, I'll tell you. I gave her a couple of buffs tonight, Scotty. I said, I'll play yes, that the show tonight. That was lovely. I'll tell you, Hamish, see that lovely hymn? That was a very, very popular at school assemblies all over Scotland. Hey, right, Scotty, that's where I first learned that. Yes. School assembly and the guy in the piano and he would do a wee entry, he would go ra da dee 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 Then he would yeah. turn round and point I used to sit on a Sunday night down in uh, White Inch Scotty uh -huh. uh, and listen to the Queen Elizabeth accordion band. Oh wow. Wow and, uh, practicing they, they played a hundred uh, hymns right off one after the other, you know. And uh, that was one of them. That was one of the hands. Let us both a glance on mine. Praise the Lord for the years, kind. It's fantastic. Now, I was talking. Oh, sorry, Hamish, go on. A hundred times they done. And the one a night. A hundred times. Fantastic. A hundred times in the one night. What I was going to say to you, I was talking to somebody that um, lives over in Belfast. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me that uh, a, a lot of the dances at the clubs, they'll mm -hmm. take a dance to the hymns. Yes. So quite often they'd be up on the dance floor at maybe half eight to nine o'clock on a Saturday night, dancing to letters with a gladsome mind. Yes. With a wee bit of waltz time in it, you know. Yes, I'm just back. I was over about four weeks ago. Oh. Um, you know that person, uh, the bloke who's sort of forget his name now, I might, I might come to London Derry. Or he yes. Says, he calls it Derry. I call it London Derry. I was over there four weeks ago. I was over in a place called Lisbon. And I yes, went I know Lisbon. Lisbon. I went to Lisbon, up to London Derry, and uh, I got a nice uh, day up in London Derry, and then came back to Lisbon, and uh, I took in uh, Shankill and that. Uh, all quiet and peaceful there, you know. Yes, things. yes. All settled in at the moment, you know. Uh, all settled in. Uh, I was there, I was around there, and... Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I had a big Irish fry or an Ulster fry, you know. An Ulster fry with a few porkers. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of double yokers, Hamish. <laughs> 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 that bacon's just, that's just new now there, Hamish. You'll enjoy that. It's quite thick. <laughs> I was just a 
Bala money as well and McGilligan. McGilligan yes. Up, yes. The uh, road to McGilligan. Up to McGilligan, absolutely, yes, indeed. That's wonderful, Hamish. It's lovely to hear you. I'll not keep you hanging on, but um, we'll catch up soon. Next week, Scotty. Next Have week would be lovely. Bless you, Hamish, and take care of your dear self. Thank you, do, sir. Can I for Annette? Yes, go on. Oh, for Annette, yes. Yes, Annette down there in party, and for we, Jean, there in Dalmuir. She asked me. She was in Dalmuir, we, Jean, it was on Annette. Dalmuir. Jean of Dalmuir. Big Hamish and uh, Liz's wife, he, they get through a terrible time at the prison, you know. All right, uh, they're having a tough time. We send them strength. Uh, terrible time, uh, mm. uh, Scott. Sorry, but nevertheless, they'll get there, you know. They'll come through it, absolutely, you know. Oh, I remember that hymn, uh, Scotty, that old uh, southern hymn. We will come rejoice and gather in the sheaves. Yes, gathering the sheaves, absolutely. Bringing in the sheaves is another one, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, Scotty. Fantastic, Hamish. All the best. Have a lovely week. God bless, Scotty. God bless you, sir. Dinky do. There we are. That's our Hamish from Drum Chapel in Glasgow. Let us with a gladsome mind. Do you know, that's one we want to send out to the politicians. In the middle of a big Brexit fight, somebody should stand up and go, Let us with a gladsome mind praise the Lord, for he is kind. There we are. Fantastic. Right, uh, to the telephones as quickly as possible. We are exceptionally busy tonight. 0141 0475. If you've been reading ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing can I implore you oh would you like that one can I implore you to keep ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing so that you can say to everyone I got through to Scotty McClue on Nation Radio just for you dinky do see what I just did there I just talked about the radio fantastic back I go to the telephones we are stowed out the door and stowed Tap it through with your calls. That's the way we like it on a Sunday night, live on Nation Radio. Scott McClure's Nightline. Rab! Hello, Scott. Hello, how are you? I'm doing no too bad. I, get, I didn't even we got on as quick here. Well, no, what we're doing is we're seeing if we can get through everybody tonight because we've had folks saying, look, I ring and ring and ring for two hours and I can't get right. on, so come on. Am I quite clear with that? With that, uh, the, 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 oh, the, you're clear. You could. Oh, listen, you could hear you in East Africa. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> could hear you in Nairobi. Getting, I've, been get, I've been getting well tested. Ah. Uh -huh. You know because um, somebody got the radio up there, Rab. I'm not hearing you too well. I that's what I was asking you. That's what I was asking you. Hold on a minute. There we go. There we go. Ah, somebody's got the radio up, you see. That it? That's a bit better, Rab. Yes, absolutely. Turn your radios down if you're coming on, folks, so you'll just get it back through your through your ears. Right. Um, no. Right. The wife, the wife is acting a bit, a bit strange the last couple of days and that, you know, and uh -huh. uh, a lot going on and dinner is running back for the toilet and time, 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 and we found out that she's got uh, kidney disease. She's oh my hospital. goodness, right, right, oh hell. My sister had right. this as well. And oh help, yes. My sister had as well, and that, I don't know if I already said, she, she died with us as her sister. Yes, she was a yes. And, um, oh, she was some, some character woman, you like to spoke to her, Garish. But mm. she, she, the thing is bothering us all, Paul, because the, the mother went that way, and it, uh -huh. uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, horrendous. Hered hered hereditary. Hered well, it is horrendous, aye, but it's hereditary aye, as well. well hereditary, aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that there isn't much you can do. If you just need to wait and see with the... Rab, the there's gunny. not a thing you can do about that sort of stuff, and that's actually what's wrong with so many people, because they think, surely something can be done. You've just got to let things take their course, and nobody knows that better than you. Uh, see, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not boasting, but that's that's what's kept me. See, that I tell you, there have been. I'm, I feel as if I'm on, half the time I'm on trial because of the uh, all, the, all the stuff I've been going through. Uh, yes. I'm, no, you're I'm, never I'm, on trial. I'm 27 years old. I'm 27 yes. years old. 
And yes. see if I wasn't it. If I wasn't you, I'd either be dead or in prison, definitely. Oh, absolutely. You'd have either been away a long time ago or you'd be in the old big house, you know. Right. I don't know if any of uh, listeners uh, to Scotty McClue, but uh, could I give my wife a mention if she's in the hospital there? Yes, yes, just say hello to her, yes. I can't be hospital. I'm saying if she's, <laughs> if she's in the hospital. <laughs> she's in, she is in the hospital. Uh, and uh, tell, ask her if she can forgive me for... I went and I put my, my I put my wedding rings in because she she she's threw hers away I don't know many times and mm. she threw them at me and my daughter left them and, and put them away right so I put mine into her her bag packet and left them there and I did my usual cleaning up and you're not going to believe it but I fired them at, I thought I always used to crunch the, uh, I still don't believe they were they were in the, she says uh, to my daughter they were in the fag packet. And I went through the through the, the bin, they're in the skip and airbrick. And because uh, I went through the five, I went through six bin bags, I'm not kidding you. And I'm not, I'm not trying to hold, hold, his back, hold you back because I know even other people talking, want to talk. But I went through five, five, five bin bags and my horns were minking and I couldn't find, couldn't find them at all. Yeah, so you, know, I mean, up, you know, some interesting things happen, especially because you've said on the wireless, you know. Hey, can I finish with this? Yes, go on, sir. Uh, I was looking at a thing about, I can mention the name, because President Kennedy. Mm-hmm. I reckon, see the, see the rifle it show him? Uh, 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 I don't know if, you, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if the listeners know how much it costs. Another thing I was wanting to know, know was, uh, I, know, I know anyway, right? I, I know the, the rifle costs with telescopic sites, and I know that 1963 were told, you know that anyway? Mm-hmm. Right, and President Kennedy uh, got shot three times, and they found, I never found where the, the third. They couldn't find the third bullet, and they were supposed to find it eventually. You know, I don't know where that where it was. But the other thing that was I want to know is, I know, right, is J J F Kennedy. What does the F stand for? Fitzgerald. Ah, I wasn't wanting to say. I was wanting to say. Oh, sorry. Was, I, I, I thought you were asking you? me. Sorry about that. No. Yes, John Fitzgerald <laughs> Kennedy, because. <laughs> Honey Fitz was his grandfather. Aye. Honey Fitzgerald, yes. She, and then the Kennedys came. He's big at it. Big Arnold married to his daughter. His daughter or, or what? Um, or his, 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 his wife, Kennedy's wife, is connected to Big Arnold's wife, I'm sure. To his wife? I think uh, Big Arnold. I'll be back Big again. Arnold. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know anything about that. I, I can remember that um, Peter Fitzwilliam from uh, right. from South Yorkshire, from the great big mansion in South Yorkshire. He right. uh, was having an affair with John F. Kennedy's sister, who had been married to Billy Hartington, who was the Marquis of Hartington, who was the heir to the Dukedom of Devonshire at Chatsworth House. And right. um, he was killed in the war with the Grenadier, I think it was the Grenadier Guards he was with. And he was killed in the war, and she was having an affair with Peter Fitzwilliam, and they were killed in a plane crash going for a weekend in the south of France in 1948. <clears throat> can, I, can I say this as well, right? The Egyptians are, the Egyptians are, they, they can marry their sister, right? And so they keep the, keep the bloodline, right? Now, I heard the story that it sounds a bit sad saying this, but uh, ours is the same, it's supposed to be. So they can't oh, find uh, listen, an I'm, get I'll, t- I'll tell you what, I'm not, I'm not going down that road. Uh, listen, you take care of yourself, Rab, and we will catch right. up soon. And Dinky, right. do you I hope your missus is okay. No, 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 you, no, no, you're not offended anybody. You're absolutely fine. I'm just going to press on because we're so busy, but we'll catch up soon. Uh, right, to your telephones, 0141 811 0475. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Nation Radio just for you. Dinky do. William, Pamela and Anthony were sold investments by banks and ended up losing money. Luckily, they contacted Goodwin Barrett and were able to claim back a total of £65,500. If you've lost money on an investment sold by a bank, even if you no longer have it or the paperwork, just text MONEY to 6677 to discover how much you could be owed. That's MONEY to 6677. 
You don't need a claims management company to make a complaint, and if unsuccessful, you can refer it free to the financial ombudsman. You've probably heard it said, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But when it comes to starting a family, trying again and again without success can be, well, trying. Not to mention exhausting. GCRM's fertility experts can improve your odds of conception, and there's no waiting list. We can start your IVF journey today. Take the next step to becoming that brilliant parent you're going to be. Visit gcrm.co.uk. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. Call Scotty now. 0141 811 0475. Love music. Love Scotland. Fantastic. The world's top radio stations with the world's top talk show, Scotty McClue's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you. Sunday night, of course, the 22nd of September. Whoa, nothing gets past me. 01418110475. We're extremely busy, but we'll get through as many of you as possible. Dinky do. Get your telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Who's that? It's Gemma, Scotty, how are Gemma, you? Gemma, darling, how are you? You're live on air. Lovely to hear from you. Thank you. And I just <coughs> want to thank you for the mention. Oh, the yeah. Facebook on Friday on, night. On Scotty McClue's Facebook pop-up on a, on a Friday night. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Gemma. Not at all, not at all. It's, it's lovely. That's a great wee show, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic, yeah. And well, because uh, because we're not on Nation Radio on a Friday night, I thought we could all get together on Facebook, you know? Yeah, and a lot of my friends have been uh, listening to you now because I've been hearing it. That's fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. That's what it's all about. It's having a wee word with everybody, Gemma. Yeah, yeah. And how's, how's your lovely mum? Is she all right? Yeah, she's doing good, thanks. Yeah, I've not been too great, but... I'm I'm getting better now. Good. You're better now that you've had a wee chat with Scotty McClure. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic, my darling. Well, listen, you have a lovely, lovely week and enjoy every second of it. She's busy tonight. Talk to me another night. Right, Scotty, we'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Right, we'll Bye. talk to you soon, Mother. God bless you. There we are. Bye. What a nice lady. 0141 811 0475, folks, as quickly as you possibly can. Scotty McClure's Nightline, live on Nation Radio, just for you. And I want to speak to every single one of you. If you can hear me, I want to hear you. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? How about Scotty? Hello, how are you doing? I just got it, David. David, how are you getting on, lad? This is really strange because I'm the cat to speak to the last caller. So uh-huh. went wrong here. But anyway, yes. No, no, nothing's. No, no. Listen, David, nothing's went wrong, or nothing's gone wrong, as we could say. Everything is well. You're speaking to the last caller. She's still in my living room on Alexa. That's right, yes, absolutely. It'll take a wee while just to filter through the system. And then you're on here now. Are you okay, Scotty? Oh, I'm absolutely fine, yes. Absolutely superb. My chest is improving. Good, your bad chest, sir, a wee bad chest. And a wee bit of a chest, no, I caught some of that lurgy, you know what I mean? Somebody gave us a present of that, so I was a wee bit wheezy, a wee kissed of whistles. Oh, a wee son. But how's Linda? Do you know if Linda's okay? Uh, yes, I hope she's. Um, I haven't heard. Maybe Anna will give us a wee call and let us know. Of course, you okay. You know, yeah. but it was also yes, lovely yes. that we had Hamish on tonight because we haven't I, had I Hamish on for a while. Yes, I had a few and, Hamish, of course. And, and we, his we, playing we, was magnificent. Has she been on now? Who's that? Has she been on? Wee Jean, no, the drum. Wee Jean, Wee Jean was on earlier, yes. Yes, yes. although sometimes I can't hear her. I'm, I'm not sure if she keeps her mouth over her phone, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, she's, she's, she's wired to her head. She kind of <laughs> wanders you. away a wee bit sometimes, you know I what I mean, and you're trying to hear her. Listen, I've got a tribute song. Uh-huh. A she tribute song. Wendy Houston, how fantastic. Mm-hmm. Are you a big Whitney Houston fan? I'm a big diva, Whitney Houston, Scotty, as you mm-hmm. know, probably. 
Oh, wonderful. Not. Wonderful. Well, we know now. Okay, so when do we begin then? When do we begin? When do we begin the begin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> would you like to hear this, Scotty? Well, yes, I think that would be lovely. Tell me when. One, right. Two, two three, three, take it away. Four. I believe the children of the future. Teach them well to let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty that possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children laughter. They mind just how we used to be. I decided long ago never to walk. In anyone's shadows, if I fail, if I succeed, at least I'll live as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can take away my dignity. Because the greatest love is happening to me. Do you like that one? <laughs> it's beautiful! Woo! I suspect you must be a black belt in karaoke. <laughs> that was just That's, song. Th- that was fabulous. Well done, <laughs> like. I think we were all spellbound. <laughs> I just want to give you a song. And by the way, where's our Stephen? Oh, our Stephen. Well, he'll no doubt be on now. Good, good, good. So I, I love think you, so. Scotty. Good That's it. Love you lots. Thank you for your song. Goodbye. <laughs> there's <laughs> Alexa Scotty. kicking in. Bye-bye, Lala. <laughs> there we are. That's our David, of course. <laughs> to the telephones as quickly as possible, folks. 01418110475. Scotty McClue's Nightline, just for you, dinky-doo. Keep ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing. And we'll get as many of you on as possible. It's very, very important. Good for David. They are doing his stuff, I tell you. Back I go to the telephones, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? 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 Hello, Hello. Hello. it's Tam. Tam? How you getting on, la? I know bad, you, mate. Very well, Tam, yes, better for hearing you. See him, it was just singing there, he's he's deafened me. (laughs) He's deafened you, Tam. Oh, well, you'll not be able to hear me then. We'd better let you go. Right, there you go. That's Tam. To your telephones, 0141811-0475. The poor soul has been deafened. Uh, back to the telephones. You're live with Scotty's phone. In who's that? Hello? Hello? Who's that? Oh, it's me. Hi, it's Stephen. Hi, ah, Stevie. Stevie, Stevie how are you, Lala? Well, what a night tonight. <laughs> yeah, your phone system is just where I just gonna, You caught me all in my wares there. No, it's <laughs> fantastic. Everybody, well, what we're trying to do is get people straight through. You were hoping to chat to the wizard, you see. <laughs> That's what I thought, <coughs> But I said to folks, see if you can get me straight through. Because we've had a lot of folk complaining they can't even get through to Scotty McClure. Ah, see, so you bit, ah, just, it's bang on. So we're just saying if we can get bang on the moment, whoosh, is through as soon as we can. Just grab you. So how how you are know, you, my friend? How are you, Keith? I are you am all right? absolutely remarkable. A lot better. The chist has been a bit better. You know, good, so good. That's all, 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 all is well. All is well, absolutely. All my love to Rob is... Uh, okay, no, Sal, that, you know? the missus not been well, I know. And the other ah, poor soul whose mother died... And, uh, you know, I mean, what a, what a oh. night it's been, you know? I even David gets through there earlier on. I was shocked he'd go on for me. Shocking. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get on before you? How can I'm anyone shocking. get on the phone before you? <laughs> <laughs> David's brilliant. What did, oh, David was great. giving us a wee song there as well. We were ah, spellbound. Uh, we were ah, here, Houston, indeed. Good, good old Whitey Houston. And then yes. he, he put that wee post up about uh, earlier on, uh, on Facebook about... Uh, Oh, uh, oh, your man, the comedian. Oh, Christ, I've lost it now. Can't even mind his name now. Which That's one? Sad. That sounds sad. Which I can't one? even mind the guy's name. Oh, Morton Monday. The guy was in Morton Monday. Robin Williams. 
Oh, Robin Will. Oh, Robin Williams. Oh, oh wonderful guy. Yes, I mean, yeah, really. I was so fabulous. sorry about that because that man was just brilliant, wonderful oh, actor, brilliant. and uh, and all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? And of course, that, Mrs. Doubtfire. Right yeah, well, do, have you ever seen the Mork and Mindy? Have you ever seen the Dead Poets Society? I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a film as well when he's given mm -hmm. it. Seize the day. Seize the day. You know, but the, man, the man's an absolute scream. I have never seen a film that he's been a bad actor in. It. No, Every he's not. Every single no. film. Real Every stand-up comedian he's done, mm -hmm. he's been brilliant in everything that he's done in his life. And it's such a shame. And you it see, was... the problem with showbiz, you kind of feel you're only as good as your last show. Mm. And... Everybody's out to attack you because you're up there and they're no. Mm -hmm. So you get an awful lot. I mean, you'll notice this. Right? I get attacked a lot on Facebook. Yeah, uh, of course. I'm trying to tell them the truth, you know, and they go, ah, it's a lot of rubbish. And they don't know, you see, when they, you're giving them the truth. You're trying to help them. You're giving them the facts about Brexit or something, and they're going berserk because they've got another idea. You have to have a thick skin. You know, you need to have a thick skin, and, and yeah. the problem is, also, when you've finished a project, you then think, right, now, that's that done, what's next? And mm -hmm. it can be a wee while before it's next, so you're coming down off the high of working, you're working at a very high level, and then mm -hmm. you're coming down after that, you know what I mean? Aye, aye, no, no, that's just true. Yeah, I can agree you with know, that. I used, I used to get a wee bit hungry uh, after Scott FM because it was such a massive show that once you'd finished the show, you thought, oh, hang on a minute, I could do a wee fish tea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the show's for shot. <laughs> just because all the shelves were shut. So, 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 so you're just eating some nonsense out of late night garage or something, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> just the same, you know, you get to DJ somewhere one night, the end of the night, you watch them all eating their buffet and all that, and you go, yeah, oh they've my all, they've God, all had their steak pie and that, you're starving. <laughs> You're starving at the end of the night, you're going to hate me, what? Nothing. You know, and you can't eat, you see, really we should be like miners. You know, the miners <laughs> used to have their snap tin, it was called. <laughs> and that was the missus put a big doorstep and a bread and cheese and an apple and all that in, and the miners had their snap. And the wee silver tin. Aye, and the wee tin, their, <laughs> your snap box, you know. So DJs <laughs> should have a snap box. <laughs> Get their snap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to push oh. off and let you go over there. And of course, nobody keeps fantastic. it. The poor old DJ gets a tough time, you know. And goes, how come you never played that? You say, <laughs> what about how come everything I did play? <laughs> you've only got so many hours to play things on. Exactly, exactly. And the other one, you've got to stay away from the football. I remember a pal of mine was a big DJ in Liverpool, and he says that if you put on, you know, like, you'll never walk alone, you have these people up going, Hey, get that off now! You can be in a club, a certain football club, and play the ring song, aye, you go oh, lunch the way out the door. Oh, <laughs> they've gone daft at you, know. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Lovely talking to you, Lala, and we will Take catch up soon. Take care. And dinky do. Love what a fine like man. Those. Love to you, Stevie. Top man. There you are. That's how Stevie. Wonderful man. And uh, you'll see he comes on with Scotty McClue. We do a lot of work on uh, on Facebook, a lot of communication there. Tremendous stuff. 01418110475. Scotty McClue's Nightline. If you're on the line and ringing, stay there and I'll get you after this. Strength and things. Strength and things. Strength and things. Strings and things, strings and things and strings, strings, strings and things, strings, strings, strings and things, strings, strings, strings and things, strings and things. Now there's a whole range of strings and things called strings and things, including cheese strings, yollies, and new cheese shapes. Find them all in the cheese and yogurt aisle. Strings and things. You know what it's like. Monday arrives, you have the best intentions, but you're too busy and they're too busy. And before you know it, Monday rolls round again. Let the Kitchen Depot manage your new kitchen for you. Plumbing, building work, electrics, flooring, everything. The Kitchen Depot, where families go. The Kitchen Depot, in Hillington, East Kilbride, and Barton, Falkirk and Bishop Briggs, and now opening Greenock. This, this is Scotty McClue's Nightline. 
Have your say. Have your say. Call 0141 811 0475. Nation Radio. Yes, indeed. You're listening to Scotty McClue. We're live on Nation Radio. That is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is listening to. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fantastic music just for you. Beautifully, beautifully chosen by the country's top experts. Nation Radio only employs the very, very finest. La creme de la creme, I say. And they choose all you music just for you with you in mind now you won't get that on any other radio station in the UK now, a lot of them are winding down, a lot of them are networking, a lot of them couldn't actually give two about you (coughs) and the thing is that Nation Radio is all about you and even it's probably one of the very 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 few radio stations that evaluates and appreciates a talk show in the evening. I know we're just on on a Sunday night at the moment, 10 to midnight, but make that your time. And if we get a big enough audience and you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, and I know you're all out there, and I know you're big Scotty McClue fans, because I see it all over social media. When I pop up, thousands come and join me. One of the pop-ups, I think, has got almost 30,000 um, have have, uh, have come and watched it. So it's that kind of thing on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Um, one of the pop-ups has got 244,000 have listened to it. And it's only a tiny little bit of fun radio with a gentleman. We're having a laugh. And uh, 244,000 of you have come and had a look at that. So get yourselves on there. Follow Scotty McClue at Scotty McClue on Twitter. So if you've got a Twitter account, go on right now, follow at Scotty McClue, follow at Nation Scotland, and uh, also Facebook, get on to Scotty McClue's Facebook page. There's about five pages in total. There's Dinky Doo, there's www.scotty-mcclue.com, which is the Scotty McClue official website. You can get in touch with me through that uh, if you're needing uh, if you're needing anything done so it's all there for you live on nation radio spread the word because nation radio is where radio is at and where it is going in scotland Tremendous stuff. Wonderful. That's what it's all about. We're extremely busy on the phones tonight. The wizard of the big switchboard is uh, sorting out your calls. He will sort out the wheat from the chaff. He will help the hard of thinking, and we'll get you all on there. Back I go to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone. In who's that? It's Graham. Graham. Lovely to hear you. How you doing, Scotty? Thank you, do la. Better for hearing you. What's happening? I keep myself busy with the work that I do, and then plus, I've, I'm, I'm getting good at the song quiz on the likes as well now. You're getting good at? The song quiz on the likes of... Oh, oh yes, wonderful, yes, absolutely, yes. You're, you're, you're topping up with Nation Radio song quizzes. Yeah, well, I'm good at it. I've, I'm up to level 41 you now. Wow. And I've won up to about 28 games in a row at some point. Fantastic, Graham. You're some man. Yeah, because I, you know, I, I do a bit of DJ nails. I'm not with the name of the station, but... No, no. I, I do a bit of volunteer work at another radio station I was telling you about. Wonderful, yes, yes, excellent, can, good. And, and when you do these song quizzes, you can choose the music decade. Of course. And you get to choose the music decade that you want. Yes, and yes. Some of, the, some of the time you get six questions and name the song title and the artist... And the seventh one is a bonus. And sometimes I've done that, and I've had the perfect score, 200. Wow. Do you realise, <laughs> do you realise, Graham, that say a What's Beatles that, fan was 16, right? Mm-hmm. So, say, so if, if a Beatles fan was 16, they yeah. would have been born in about 1946, 1947 or 48, right? Uh-huh. So, yeah. 1947, if you think uh-huh. about it, is 72 years. 
Oh my goodness! Me. That means that a beat a young Beatles fan would now be seventy two. Very good, eh? It's interesting, isn't it? Yep. Have you had a tell, Linda's Keaton? So, um, no, I haven't heard tonight, but uh, I'm hoping that Anna might give me a wee tinkle if she's heard anything. Yeah, that's true, because we miss Linda, don't we? We do miss Linda. She's an absolute angel, and uh, she's brought us so much joy. I know, and it was good to hear uh, Ra is on the Moose. Hamish, big Hamish. Hamish on the (laughs) Moose. (laughs) Let's <laughs> with a glance of mind. It's never a dull moment on this programme, Graham, you know? I know. <laughs> There's always something, and, and we love that, and that's the way it we should do. be. <laughs> you should be, Scotty. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm glad that you're spreading the word and you're doing all that good work. You keep it up, La. I will do, Scotty. Leave all of it. <laughs> it's great. It's quality. <laughs> lovely talking to you. Did you do? Oh, no, we're just as you Aye, but that doesn't mean we have to get time for your good self, you know. We just have to dash on. But uh, we'll catch up again soon. So there we are. That's uh, our Graham. Wonderful stuff. And a bit of DJing, of course. We like that. 0141 is the telephone number. You're listening to Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. And uh, I am here for you to say dinky-doo when you get through to Scotty McClue clue on the radio nation radio just for you dinky do excellent stuff somebody was saying scotty you need to get a bit of merch on the go and i'm just looking um i'll hold it up for you so you can all see it there you go a scotty mcclue badge saying dinky do so uh, if you don't want to see it look away now um wonderful stuff 01418110475 ring and ring and redial and redial and we'll get to every one of you Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Oh, Anna, that is quality <laughs> service. <laughs> oh, gosh. I didn't get speaking to Mr. Wizard. <laughs> oh, isn't that fantastic, Anna? It's I... a wee bit like saying, well, no, what I've said to the Wizard, I said, look, let's just get the callers on here and try oh, and not gosh. keep them waiting, you know? It's wonderful. What a difference, Scotty. It's it's a, you know, it really is. Everyone's <coughs> excuse me. They can, you know, everyone can say what they're on about, and yes, oh no, it's yes. been great. And I'll tell you, hearing yourself when I said to you, that's fantastic service. You'll know, you'll have had an occasion when you've had a phone call and somebody said, Anna, I'm sorry it's short notice, but could you uh, by any chance get to Geneva or something like that? Because they're really needing somebody and -and so-and-so has not been well and blah, blah. And you have to just say, yes, no, we can do that for you. And I was just thinking, I was fortunate enough when I lived in the West End, and I know you oh, can, yeah. you, and I know you can live in two places at once, but I still miss the West End, you know. <clears throat> and and uh, well, it was fantastic. And the south facing, of course, looking over the the park and the oh, Kelvin and all that stuff, you know. And um, I have to say that uh, the, the, one of the guys that stayed down the stairs was a concert pianist. No Mm -hmm. names, no pet drill. But he was a concert pianist with a difference. He said to me he had a choice when he was learning the piano. He could either become one of the finest sight readers in the world or or somebody with the finest memory in the world. And what used to happen at a real top, top concert or something on the radio, they would ring him and say that such and such, a massive name in concert piano playing, had been held up or couldn't make it or whatever, and could he come in? And he would say, he would go, "Aye, what's uh, what's the piece uh, that yeah. you're looking for?" And they would go, "Oh, it's um, Rachmaninoff three or something, you know." And he'd say, yeah. "Ah, that's fine. It's a nice piece. That I'll come round." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he could do that and this was fantastic this guy so say for instance he was needed for you know the the public service broadcaster he could yeah. just turn up and play top top concert piano and their announcer would just say that there'd been a change you know they would say you know that uh, James McQuackle can't be with us but, well that's, uh, that's you know. so true Scotty because I know that I had a 
a bag ready, like I'm as though I was going to the maternity. Everything uh-huh. was ready for the phone call. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. And it's Every great, and I mean, it's great service. And of course, the thing is, people come back to you when they realise how well organised you are. Of course. Well, listen, mm. Pet, I won't keep you tonight because it's brilliant stuff. You're never and, keeping me. It's lovely to hear you. And Linda, I was talking to Linda. Oh, brilliant. She's, um, first of all, she wants to thank you and all the, the, the people who phoned last week and, and wished her well. She said, um, phone Scotty Anna and tell him how much I appreciated it. Oh, bless and her. She's out of, she came out of hospital. She was Good. in for over a week. But unfortunately, she's still not very great. And no. uh, what she's doing is she's she's going in to have her operation private. Right. Because the, the consultant said, you know, just go home and we'll wait maybe another four or five weeks. And Linda said, mm. I can't suffer this anymore. No. So no. she's she's going to go private, and uh, yes. she'll, she'll keep you up to date, Scotty. Bless and, her, uh, I see. And she sends her love to to you yes. and to all the the lovely people, all her friends that were asking kindly for her. Oh, bless her! Well, oh, we I send her, her love it, from oh. everybody in West Central Scotland, the city I of know. Glasgow, throughout West Central Scotland. I we know. send love. Fantastic! Oh, it was it was lovely. It was so nice to. It was great telling her about it. You know, it, it yes. really cheered her up. Oh, bless you, Anna! You're it, such it, a lovely it, angel. And uh, anyway, darling, on with the show. On with the and show. The, the show must. The show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> and I'll speak to you next week. All being well. Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure there was many a night when Jack and Ricky thought, oh, we're getting a wee bit tired here, you know, and they thought, right, oh, come I on, know. you. We need to get on there. That's <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, no, <laughs> of course. No, mm-hmm. you're doing great, Scott, and marvellous tonight. And oh, I'm lovely, my glad darling. I'm glad your chest's a bit better. Chest is clearing, so we'll just keep keep it going, I say. Oh, well, I'll no be rubbing it with Vic then. <laughs> no, that's right. I'll rub with Vic and all the rest of that's it. Right. <laughs> anyway, darling, all the best. All and right, my angel. Yourself. Yes, and love to you, and we'll catch up soon. Catch up soon, Scott. Yes, and love to Linda. Thanks, Anna. Much I appreciated. Not, Bless not you. Night, night, God bless. Night, night, my angel. Bless you. What a lovely, lovely lady. That's our Anna, who uh, is a, a supermodel. And um, she's uh, just ringing to tell us that Linda is on the mend and she's to have another wee op and uh, all will be well. And hopefully, um, at some point, there's absolutely no rush, we will get the privilege and pleasure of hearing Linda again playing her wonderful accordion live on Scotty McClue's Nightline on Nation. Radio Dinky Do 0141 8110475. Back to the telephones. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Jackie. Hi there, my darling. Hello, Scotty. Angela. You all right? Yes. How are you? Fine, Thank you. Can fine, I just say Jackie. something, darling? What's yeah, that? Sorry. You, sorry, did you, what did you say? Who said what? I just said hi. Oh, sorry, darling. Darling, darling listen, I wanted to say something just for you. Yes. I want to say this, right? Just yes. think you do, take the boot, I love you, and it's just for you, Scotty McClure, we love you. You're an angel, thank you very much, oh, Jackie. Thank you so much. Yes. And, and I'm so glad, yeah. I haven't yes, got a wee rhyme for you, but I'll say, I uh, love you, Jackie, and I hope it's not long till you're back on here. Yeah, it won't be long, it won't be long, no. <laughs> you see your back here on here, I like that, I like that. <laughs> Thanks to Jackie, That's and we'll hope you'll soon be back yes. here. <laughs> yes, I'll soon be back here. That's the best uh-huh. I can do. I don't think I'll win Rapper of the Year, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would. Feel me, feel me, Ricky. I oh, I know, it's wonderful, I know, but it's great, but we send strength to everyone out there because it's a tough time for a lot of people, you know, and these yeah. politicians are so busy argy-bargying with each mm-hmm, other, mm-hmm. they're forgetting about the people. Exactly, Scott, exactly, you know, that's what I'm they're forgetting about, about the people, about. you know, that's that's the whole thing, and, and, that, uh, you know, and the stuff they're coming up with is very, very negative, you know. 
Ja, das ist schön, ja, das ist schön, very schön. Ja, und und, 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 und feinen und Ballen und Archibald. Und, 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 Yes, yes. All the politicians are causing so much corruption and eruption. Eruption, I should say, sorry. The eruption, eruption yes. yes, yes, They're yes. They're erupting the whole world, they're erupting the whole world. They're just an eruption. The whole world. You know? Uh-huh. And, uh, uh-huh. and, we need, and we need to get sorted. Everything needs to calm down. Oh, they do, they do, Scotty, aye. You and know? they don't calm down, they bloody get the fall down. But do you know the worry? Do you know the? Do you know what politicians really worry about? Everybody getting yeah. together and just saying we love each other. Let's unite. Let's unite. Let's unite and love each other. <laughs> yeah. See that song. See that song you were talking about earlier, Scotty. Mm. The letters. The let, letters mind. Letters with a gladsome ransom. mind. Praise the Lord for yes. He is kind. For His mercies yes. I endure. And they used to ever faithful, ever sure. And we used to sing it in in assembly. Yes, assemb- in I the remember it, Scotty. And I the pianist that, came I out. The music teacher would come out and sit at the piano, and then the um, Hedy would come in. And That's the right. Hedy would say, Good morning, boys and girls. And we'd all stand up. Good morning, son. He'd say, Please be seated. And then uh-huh. he would say, Now we are going mm-hmm. to sing the hymn Let Us With a Gladsome Mind. Thank you, yes. Mr. McQuackle. And the music teacher would go, Da ra dee 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 dee. Then he would turn round and glare at you. And we all stood up and went, Let us with a gladsome mind. You know, and uh, fantastic. And then uh, that would be that. And then you would get a wee reading from uh, from that's the Bible right, or right. from a book about somebody that had escaped from a camp uh. during the war, <laughs> something like that. And then they would say, so all of you remember that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You know? That is very true. And that was that. Can you say something, please? Yes, yes sorry, darling, of course you can. Yes. You can say anything. You said, you said there, yes, you said there, but what, let's, can we do something for you? Can you do something for me, Scotty, please? Of course I can, would as you, I can. Would you please just let, let's send out a wee message to all those guys that's in the big house? Yes, yes, the big house, absolutely. Please give a message. Just give a message to Joe. Tell him I love him, my daddy. There you go, Joe. You're very much loved from Jackie. So there you are, because the ballistic Thank of the big you, hoose, yes. the ballistic of the big yes. hoose, and uh-huh. I have no problem sorry with that. that. The boys, yes. sorry no, that, don't sorry. be sorry. All the, big, the boys in the big hoose right to me. No, you I should. There's nothing wrong. There's loads of people in there. There's loads of people, loads of innocent men, darling, you know. Yes, absolutely. And one or two guilty ones as well, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's true. Yes, oh, ah, yes, oh, ah, yes. Can't forget that, no. <laughs> you know, I know, I know, I know. People say, know, he's telling me that. he never done it. You say, oh, he done it all he right. He didn't, he didn't do it. He didn't do it, no. <laughs> you know, that did you not. didn't. That you maybe didn't no, do, that no, you no, didn't. No. You know? No, I know. Uh, so there it goes. So there yeah. you are. All right, my darling. And my wee friend, Helen, my little friend, my, she's my best pal who has got AB, my wee friend, Helen. She's such a lovely wee lady, too. And do you know what yes. I can't believe, Scotty? Go on. I can't believe that her husband, right, went in for an mm. operation, right? Mm-hmm. Now, this man, he's, he's such a great, he's a lovely wee man. Um, anyway... The, um, the the nurses, right? They kept on putting his appointment off and off and like off, just pure yeah. messing the guy about. Just because they've got money who they are and all that, you know. Um, so he, he gets his operation, and everything, but they messed this guy about so much. I couldn't, couldn't believe it when I heard. I just could not. Mm. The, the, the nurses are so busy like this. This is the way they're treating pensioners. Well, you I know, don't I think with the nurses. I, I think, in fairness, the nurses. I think they're under a lot of pressure. Are really busy, yes. Yeah? You know, it's too busy. A lot of, you know, there's 40,000 nurses short in the NHS. Really? Mm-hmm. How many did you say? 40,000? 40, 40,000 nurses short. Hey, that coach got in. That says, well, that's because they've no Sorry. putting enough money in and it's difficult to recruit. And people are saying, the don't bring people in from abroad. In. You know? Right. So yeah. that's it. And you see, that was why... You got all that leave on the side of that big red bus said, we yes. will put 350 million quid a week and into the NHS. And, and, the NHS. and, and of course, it, it, it was just a lot of nonsense. So there you go. Was it nonsense? Aye. Oh, my goodness. You know, I thought it was really honest, to be honest. I'm really honest. It's got so you. they would get folk to, to, that to vote that they were coming out. You know what I mean? It's a lot of nonsense. That's so, a lot that's of so nonsense. bad, eh? That's yeah, so bad. Is. So there you go. That's ridiculous. 
There's life, I'll Shocking. tell you. Shocking. Life Absolutely. Life size, many government have got a lot of dancing in front of them, do you? So there you go. So we'll see how we get yeah. on with all this. We'll and see I, what this week brings. Saying, yeah, and you're saying there's 244,000 people listening in. Oh, absolutely. Yes, everybody listens. Yes. I'll tell you, see, when we were doing Scott FM, we were just uh -huh. shy of quarter of a million every half hour. You were what? Sorry? Shy, just shy of quarter of a million every half really? hour. Aye. Oh, that's that's why the other radio stations had.